Welcome back to Tassel Place Free Range. It's a, a very exciting night for us. So uh, I'd like to think everyone knows that we were, were given the, the breast genetics, which is the, the French breed of chicken that I have here. Um, and we've been growing them out. This bird here is about 14 weeks old. Uh, we got it to 2.8 kilos. And, and this is the night. So Brian's been good enough to come out and, and do this comparison cook off with us. We're gonna roast the, the industry bird here, which is just a broiler, a 2.3 kilo broiler, uh, just to make some comparisons against our beautiful, this is a two kilo pasture raised chemical free breast chicken. You can see quite obviously he's got his blue legs here, um, the red crest, the rest crop. This is one I processed myself. So we're gonna do a bit of a roast off tonight. I'm obviously pretty excited to taste it. I've got hundreds of hours in growing these things out uh, in, in blind faith essentially. So this is the night I get to taste this bird. Very, very excited. And I'm glad that you guys could be here with us. So let's rip in. So I made sure my knife was really sharp. And I've actually, I've killed the birds now. So they're just bleeding out. So I'll organize the water and keep on moving. Okay, so we've got the water ready. Let's dump the first one in. About 14 seconds. It's not very old, so you always do the wings first. Yeah. One wing. Tail feathers. So the feathers are the hardest to get out, that's what you do first. But you can see this stuff just falls off. Super important, we don't rip the skin, obviously. Beautiful, all done. Two beautiful birds there. They're really lovely size. You can still see their beautiful blue legs. And I'm really happy I I, um, I didn't rip the skin. Um, I got all the esophagus and stuff out the, the correct way. So I'm really happy with the way it went. Got the hearts there for Pia because if I kill chickens and throw the hearts away, she'll stab me through mine. So, a um, bit of a Filipino fetish, that one. So, I'm going to take them inside now, give them a little bit more of a clean, and then put them in the fridge for Brian, because if I go any further, he'll shoot me. So, that's my job done now. So, uh, the next video, I guess, will be Brian preparing them. Just come down here, home of the, the amazing Taralga Tigers, the Taralga Bowling Club. We have a quick roll up the Sabo. Um, get our head chef here nicely lubricated so we can go home and uh, he reckons he cooks better with a couple of beers under his belt so uh, quick, what a, quick, what a, quick roll up before we have a cook up <laughs> so we're here with Brian Murray Brian's a really good mate of mine Brian spent a lot of time working on Tatham Place Free Range so he knows the intimacies as far as the way that we do treat our animals he was essentially running this place on his own for quite a period there. He's also uh, probably one of, the, one of the best sous chefs to ever come out of Sydney. Uh, works for a company called Two Providors in Sydney, which is an amazing company. He's been a great supporter of, of myself. And uh, when I told him I had birds that were ready to be processed, and I told him I thought about the fact that I might cons consider myself or Pia cooking one of these, he had a bit of a sense of humor for <laughs> He won't even he won't even let me cook him an omelet. So cooking one of these birds was, was never going to be on the card. So he's been good enough to drive all the way out here this weekend um, to process these birds with me. Um, we're obviously we're roasting one and we're going to play around with one in the fry pan. So mate, thank you so Let's much. Thank you so much for coming I'm out. Excited. Um, he works for beer, which is handy for me because of course I'm a poor duck farmer. <laughs> so uh, I'm all expensive. I'm like getting a nuts off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, look, we're all really excited about the way this is going to go, so everything crossed. So uh, we've got our beautiful breast, 14 week old uh, rooster here, which you can really see the difference here with our industry raised broiler. 
um, which is just a barn raised bird. We're going to do a bit of a comparison. So double breasted bird, we've got our blade breasted um, breast here, obviously with its blue legs. So we've got 2.3 kilos and two, two, almost two kilos even. So um, it's going to be really exciting. We're going to do a bit of a comparison. Obviously, we're expecting a lot more flavor out of the breast, but it'll be interesting to see uh, how much we lose out of this industry bird uh, compared to obviously the pasture raised beautiful breast chemical free raised bird. Okay, guys, the real grunt behind Taffa Place Free Range. We've got Kenny, and he's also a wicked guitarist. So take it away, mate. 2.8 kilo live weight is 2009 grams, which is super impressive. We've obviously left the legs on, which has had a little bit of weight, but um, to be honest, when I killed it, uh, didn't think there was a lot of weight through the breast, whatever, but it's, it's obviously quite a heavy bird. That's pretty impressive for a, a heritage breed chicken of uh, 14 weeks uh, to only lose, what's that, 791 grams through the processing. That's uh, pretty exciting. So you can see I kept the hearts here. Look, I've been super impressed with these birds from day one I've had them. But the, the opportunity of processing one of these birds has allowed me to have a look at the liver and the kidney and the heart. And they're just in immaculate condition, these birds. They're very, very healthy. And you can see there the color of that heart. We're gonna get Brian to cook these up as well. Um, and we'll give them a taste as well. But very, very healthy birds without any pharmaceutical input. They've done incredibly well ranging like, straight into our program. We, we haven't changed a lot. They're known as a, a free range ranging bird, but when I got to process this and see how healthy they were, even I was a little bit impressed at the health of the animals. What, what are we doing with this one, Lucas? We are just going to break this one down and put it on the fry pan just as a contrast. Yeah. This is just for us, for, for giggles, I guess. Yeah. This is something not, I would not attempt this, but Brian, uh, he's done this once or twice. What size, what, you, what size were you looking at, Roy? Oh, that's beautiful. The size of the pie is so big. Beautiful, nice red flesh. I think we'll see a pretty stark contrast with that interest, that industry bird. You just don't get that sort of colour um, with a barn rack. Oh yeah. And the skin's nice and dry. Should be good. There we go. Grape seed. Yeah. Like a flavour in this oil. I'm impressed with my salting technique, but I think it's pretty good. It's gonna be half on there. <laughs> you don't actually look at what you're salting. You just It's a whole body workout, mate. You can't even let me put salt on, on it. Give me this. You ready? Let's do it. Ovens, 240. Yo! Good on you, fella. Good luck. <laughs> You don't think of cooking a chicken like this, do you? Well, not the first, not the first, uh, I do. Yeah. I know you do, but we don't. We mere mortals don't. So what we're going to do is get butter all over it. We're going to put her into the pan and then we're just going to baste it, baste it, baste it, baste it. Yeah. And then I'll turn up like back up like that at the very end. Yeah. We pour all the butter in there and I'll just put it inside. The hot butter. Hot butter, yeah. Pour the hot butter hot in butter through in. the middle of the yeah. crown. Yeah. Got it. Yep. So I I literally I collected the egg that made this chicken. 
I, I pulled this beautiful bird out of a brooder a day old, the incubator, sorry. We brooded it for three weeks. It's been on my pasture, it's been on my land. I've checked it every single day. I've made sure it's had water, really clean, fresh water, um, beautiful feed, the, the highest quality feed we could possibly afford. And now I've, I've with my own hands, I've processed this animal with absolute respect. This is an animal that's essentially it's sacrificed its own life to sustain my own. I've now got my best, one of my best mates cooking it. Um, and we could pay this bird no more respect than uh, I'd like to think it had enormous amounts of respect while it was alive. And now it's been respected as one of the best chefs in the industry. So it makes me really proud uh, a night like tonight. We're all together, my whole family's here, my extended family's here. I'm all going to celebrate the life of this animal. So we've, we've, we're making a bit of a theme of tonight, so absolutely everything we're serving up tonight has been grown here, so everything out of the garden. Um, got what is that? Flowers. What is that thing? Mate, look at it. What is it? We're going to fry it. Did you make the beer as well? Made the beer. Tell me what it is. Tell me that. what that thing is. It's a... Um, Zucchini flour. Zucchini flour. Yeah. Very Brian's good. just going to fry them up. So. We're going to use the same pan as the chicken, but we've got what else is there? Spinach, all the veggies, zucchini, everything from the garden. It all came from our garden. Yeah, yeah, our garden. And the chicken, of course. It's almost like a percussion instrument. Are you sampling straight away? Yeah, you got it. You got it. Oh, wow. Got it. Now is the moment. Oh, lordy lord. That could be a bloody duck breast. Yeah. yeah. That crispy you've got that. Oh, mm, sorry. Oh, 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 Hey, that's smashed it really good. Oh my god. Hey, yo, come on. Yeah, wow. Shit. Is it good? Go, Piyama. Holy lord, that's good. <laughs> Can you have a piece, man? Have a piece. Oh, wait. Come on, oh, go, no, go, go. go. Try, it, try, it, try. It. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh Sunny's. Oh, good, good. That's good. You gotta give it a go yourself. Come on. Yeah. All right, all right. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> It's good, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Can we try the steckles? Oh, man. Which one's the steckles? We roasted it. Okay. We're not mentioning brands, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> man. It's good, huh? It's good, Brian. Thank God. Man, it's good. It is really different, hey, if it wasn't different, I think we should be working. Yeah. Mine is red hot.
taught him to sing since he's been out your own. It's such a mess. What do you think about all of this? What do you think about all of this? This was the best bit. This is ridiculous. I'm actually a bit dirty on the French. Keep it to themselves. Yeah. Now I'm letting silence